Just cooling, man. Smoking a blunt. Just want to talk to y'all, man. This movie shit, it's probably, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't bad. But, that ain't what this shit is about. Other than that, man, that young thug and game beef, that shit was crazy. It didn't even last that motherfucker low. Yeah, that's the weird shit about it. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I didn't understand it from the gate where it's like, Young Thug obviously dissing Wayne, right? Wayne respond kind of, but not really. And all of a sudden, this nigga game just came out of left field and was like, you know, fuck Young Thug. Anybody got a problem with Tune, got a problem with me. I will fuck Young Thug up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, this shit came out of nowhere. And I was, like, thinking, like, damn, this nigga getting to everybody a little riff. Like, even with the Tiger and Dirk shit, you know what I'm saying? He, Which was a mean verse. Like, that nigga was crazy. But I was like, why are you getting that shit? That didn't make no sense. Then G-Count stepped in, and Game kind of was like, he didn't respond to that. You know what I mean? Then the whole situation with Kendrick, y'all know. Niggas was, Shine was talking about the nigga, um, Kendrick. Game got into that shit. Now I respect that one because simply that was a classic album. And for niggas like Shine, you know, he put out a classic debut. But to say it was whack, that was kind of corny. So I could see the nigga Game, you know what I mean, sticking up for the L.A. homie. Because, you know, Kendrick is, you know what I mean, like myself, not really with the shit, not really with the gang banging. Just a cool, you know, cool laid back cat just like enjoying music and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I get why he did that. But then when it come to the Lil Wayne shit, I, even I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I didn't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how long it'll last, pause, and a whole situation when it was over. Both sides had, you know, kind of a point. You know, Young Thug, you know, as far as what he said about game shit, we already knew. So you motherfuckers can't be sitting there saying, oh, Young Thug got that game. 50 already said the stripper shit. We already know the stripper shit. We all seen it. Pause. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? As far as that other gang shit, I don't speak on it because I'm not a part of that culture. But to just sit there and be like, he's sticking up for somebody that ain't sticking up for itself, he kind of had a point with that because I think uh, Lil Wayne was in an interview not too long ago, maybe a day or two or so ago, and they asked him about the young thug shit, and he basically curved it, didn't want to speak on it and shit. So... I kind of understand what, you know what I mean, Young Thug was saying. But then the part about game why you know, he got in it, you know, business over there. You know what I mean? Him and Wayne been making music for a, a long time, and they do make great songs together, music together, and it's a business thing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of understand it in a sense, you know what I mean? Even though I feel like he still shouldn't have said what he said. But at the end of the day, it's like Young Thug kind of apologized, but at the same time, you know, this Wayne, like, what I just said, what he said, you know what I mean? He apologized, and I was like, wow, okay. Like, you really have to be on some grown, mature shit, regardless of what you go through as a human being, to apologize. Like, because motherfuckers don't like to apologize. Niggas or bitches, you feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you kind of respect that he apologized, you know what I mean? Game said what he said, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But we all know JoJo Capone, you know what I mean? Shout out to him. He ended the shit or whatever. Y'all seen it on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and all that shit. I really didn't follow none of that, but I hear things. So at the end of the day, it's like, man, that beef was kind of... I won't even call it a beef. Just say a misunderstanding. That misunderstanding was pretty weird. And if you still watch it right now, I know you're like, this nigga just got his hand on the blunt. He ain't on camera. I mean, you can see whatever, you know, but you don't see me. So how can you really say that just because of voice with no face, that's really him? Yeah, lack of evidence is what I call it. But that beef was kind of, you know, different. And no music came from it. I think that's the part that fucking hurt me because it's like, yo, we ain't going to get a diss song from either side, though. You know what I mean? And that's the part where I feel like it was whack. I expected game to 
destroy this nigga Pause Like As far as the music He ain't even do it You know I thought Thug would at least Throw out a song Cause making songs these days Niggas throw out songs Like they throw out Motherfucking old bananas You know what I'm saying But At the end of the day It's like Man Hell no And I know that Little banana line Was kinda weak But You get what I'm saying I just didn't understand it it's like, what the fuck was it for then? But then it make me think that the nigga Wayne kind of nudged game to say something to him. Like, you know what I mean? Because that shit, I mean, he was in New Orleans when he first kicked it off. Like, fuck Young Thug, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, really? You know what I'm saying? Niggas say he was drunk. If he was or if he wasn't, it's just still like, man, hell no. I still feel like Wayne knew something about it or had his hand in the pot with that one. Because it's like, nigga, he ain't gonna jump out the window like that for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Because you seen both how it could have went. You got niggas in Thug video, Point Guns and shit, which is stupid. And that shows Young Thug is a dumbass nigga. Because, nigga, if you smart, you don't implicate yourself with any fuckery. And you doing that, that's hella stupid. So, motherfuckers want to, which I don't wish that on nobody, jail or death, but Cops come knocking, nigga. It's either gonna be you or him. Which one do you think you think will go to jail? Cause either way, go. If you let the nigga go to jail for you, bread you owe him, and then you can't use that fool shit and be like, oh, well, you took a charge for show you a real nigga. Niggas need, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga want some bread after that. And then the other way is if you take the charge and it's like your career at this point, it wouldn't even help you. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day. That was just stupid. You shouldn't have picked that video up. I wouldn't have put it up. But that shit was like, man, that's how you know he was a stupid nigga. Point fucking blank. In my book, he was a stupid nigga for that. But, I mean, at least he said something to the nigga, but then apologized. So this will go into the catalog of him when his career's all over, all the stupid shit he did. You should at least did a song. I think Thug would have won a song. Would have did a song, my fault. It would at least say something like, damn, nigga, you let Young Thug make a song. And if it really wasn't whack, like if he had a Metro booming beat, they told him beat or something like that, and he really did some, when Lil B went at Joe Budden shit, and you like, where you actually think, like, damn, that song was kind of hot. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't whack. What, it pitched game in that, you know what I'm saying? The same position, pause, as Joe Budden. What I look like saying something back to Young Thug. But niggas like, yo, he got something. Because he dropped a song and it's kind of dope. And nigga, it's like chess. You feel me? So I don't think it would have been a win-win for a uh, game. But we already know lyrically he would have destroyed that nigga. But what are you really going to say? We already don't know. You could have, unless he did the number shit where you talk about his albums or his sales or his, you know what I mean? How niggas going on tour, how much bread they made. He could have went that direction. But far as anything, far as his fashion and shit, I wouldn't have been entertained because we already know that shit. Yeah, I'm wasting the weed. I know you ain't got to tell me. It's cool. I don't really give a fuck about the shit. Money come, money go. But anyway, so that's just my take on the whole Young Thug and game beef. Because I know y'all was like, some of y'all wondering why I didn't, you know, talk about it. So I see y'all when y'all say shit, you know, some shit I want to talk about, some shit I don't. Some shit I want to review, some shit I don't. Just because I don't respond to it don't mean... I don't really see what y'all be saying. And y'all show love, man. I, I appreciate that. The movie channel is up. I dropped Age of Ultron. So if y'all like it, whatever, I don't know. I'm not really with the movie shit. So at the end of the day, hey, at least I tried. But I've tried to knock out, you know, another one later or something. Paul Blart or something like that. That shit was kind of corny. But the first one was a little better. It's cool, but it had its moments. You know what I'm saying? But... This is the most randomest video you're going to ever get from me. So when it's all said and done, and people say what they want, one thing you can never say about my channel is like, that's not the realest shit, period. It's no editing, it's no nothing. I'm shooting in a fucking room where I can shoot anywhere I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to shoot here. So it's like, you got to use your imagination. Just because you see a motherfucking room... Don't judge it by that. This room ain't shit. The foundation and buildings will make it ill. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, thanks for watching. Good night.